Dr. Peter Piot has served as an advisor to our foundation. He was the first leader of the United Nations program to fight AIDS. And today he's the director of the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. He began his career in the 1970s when he and his colleagues discovered the Ebola virus. In epidemics, what matters is time. If you act early, you prevent so many more cases. But in order to stop an epidemic, you need to know how the virus is transmitted, how it's spread with Ebola. We had no clue. That was frightening. When we arrived, this epidemic had killed 300 people. The pilots were so concerned, they never stopped the engines. They said, get out of the plane and off they went. You need to establish a relationship with people. We've got molecular epidemiology, genomics, sequencing, and artificial intelligence, but nothing can replace talking to people and listening to people because they went through it. In theory, Ebola should not give rise to huge epidemics because only people who have very close contact can become infected. But in West Africa in 2014, 11,000 people were killed. Hospitals were closed, schools were closed, airlines stopped flying there, the farmers couldn't sell their produce. Epidemics and crisis in general, they bring out the best and the worst in people. One of the proudest moments as the director of the London School of Fight Tropical Medicine was when in 2014, I encouraged people to volunteer to work in West Africa and take care of patients and help with uh, epidemic control. We had hundreds of people who volunteered within 48 hours, people who at the risk of their own life will take care of patients. There are constantly uh, epidemics that don't make it to the headlines, but it's part of our human condition now. We cannot just wait until the next epidemic.